Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be covering first impressions of the good and the beautiful math 2. Okay, so if you haven't re watched my latest video, I talk about all of what my homeschooling curriculum is going to be for 2020-2021 for Miss Zoe May, our second grader. And I wanted to do a first impressions, kind of do like a book look through or curriculum look through for each uh, subject that we're going to be covering. And so today we're going to just dive right into the good and the beautiful. Now, previously we did master books and... Um, it was a great starting point for us in our first year of schooling, but it didn't challenge us in the ways that we needed to be challenged. And we were looking for something that just had um, a little bit more, I would say like problem solving, storytelling a little bit. So there's that Charlotte Mason style of learning where there's some literature to everything we're learning and to just have a, it had a biblical standpoint. So we love that. So, so does this one. So for the good and the beautiful, we are choosing their math too. Like I've watched a couple of reviews. I was looking into all the different formats and I love the price point of this. And I loved the detail that went into it to make it so seamless for a homeschooling mama when it comes to math. Um, math is not the top favorite subject in our home, but it's one that we're learning to know that we're progressing and we're not supposed to be perfect at it and that everyone learns at a different pace. So I wanted to go ahead and do my first impressions of this. And at first I'm gonna just show you face to face and then the rest of this video, you'll be looking at it as if you're looking at it like I look at it. So I'm just gonna be doing a, a page turner type of thing. So when you purchase The Good and the Beautiful, they have it as sets already, whatever age group, they even give you a, a test if you want for just to know, is this the level that your child is in? Loved that. And then they go into um, what comes with it and then you place that order and then they do, they ship it right to your door. So mine came with Math 2 Course Book Part 1. And these are pretty thick, like these are thick. Then there's the Math 2 Course Book Part 2. Then it comes with this awesome little fun box. I can't wait to open it up with you guys and see all the things in it and how to use it. Um, this is levels one through two math activity box. Let's get started, let's check it out. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you all of my thoughts. Okay, so this is going to be my first impressions. Um, we're just gonna kind of open up everything and see what it looks like in the first couple of pages and what's in the kit. So. I'm looking at this the first time just as if it's coming in the mail, just like you guys are. So my weekly planner, this is the first thing I see on the top, and this is part of the bundle. So I did the Math 2 bundle. Uh, it comes in, this is, I believe, a weekly planner, as it says. So let's open it up. First thing I'm seeing is, okay, so we've got my planner, using our time wisely, great scripture right here, time is a gift. Um, wow, that's so cool. Okay, so we open it. Using your planner, turn the first My Weekly Plan pages listed after the month's calendar and fill in the week schedule. So here you can put and list uh, whatever you feel that you need to for your day. So this could be not just for the curriculum, this could be for just life in general if you like to write things down, pencil things in. Um, that's really cool has both sides, uh, has the time slots. Um, yeah, that's really awesome. Okay, so this comes with it. And I have a planner, which will, I'll be sharing how I do all that in a separate video. But this is really cool. If you don't already have one, when you buy the kit or the bundle, it comes with it. Now I see, um, I'm going to start with part one. This two books come in and... There's Math Park Course Book 1 and Course Book 2. We're just going to start with Course Book 1. So here it is. We open this up. Let's see, just the, as I would say, the opening credits. <laughs> okay, so Table of Contents is here. Uh, it's first ones I see is like Math Education Philosophy uh, at a glance about the course and starting at Section 1 Geometry and Measurements. Okay. Then 
here it's so we're starting with that the beautiful philosophy it's giving you a message by the founder and um what the math program uh what was math pro program was created for that's really cool it's giving you it's a faith-based program these are things that like you can read on the site but if you didn't and you just said you know i'm going to be homeschooling this is the first time i'm going to do this and now i'm getting it and now i get to sit down and make the time um talks about it being quality full of color uh enjoyable for children and um a balanced and traditional approach which is something that i love because i want them to i want zoe to get the basics but also enjoy it um, and it not be too heavy for her so that's cool you get to take time to just look into this let's turn it i think it's more than one page but that's the philosophy then we have about the course level two items included in the level two course set um, which I did. I got all of these, the course book one, course book two, the planner, and my math activity box, and uh, level two transition lessons PDFs um, that you can download. I haven't downloaded that yet. And the level two answer key, I guess you can also download that, which is great. You can. It's almost like a checklist to make sure that you've got everything. Um, items in the level two activity box, that's all in there. Okay. Um, then it's giving you like a time daily routine breakdown like everything is pretty much mapped out that's really makes things a lot easier yeah here's a checklist here um let's move on let's get to the okay so this is section one geometry and measurements this is what you're going to see so we're going to see lesson one will direct you and to read each page um again i like the approach it's more like using math in a story time based style and then here is the, we're going to be talking about lines. I can review this. I guess this is for your daily dose to know what you're going to be doing for the day, um, how it should look out, look like. Let's go ahead and turn that page. Okay, so this would be the actual worksheets that your child would be doing. So you get to look on the sides of the information and map it out how you would like it to know if that's up to you or it's already mapped out for you. And then I'm guessing, so how I'm looking at this, this is now the worksheets that you would be giving your child for the lesson. So here's the worksheet, and then here's a bonus activity. You get to check them both off at the top when you're done. And then lesson two. So this is, I'm just going to do a kind of flip through. Yeah, so every time there's a conversation to let you know what you're going to be covering, and then the assignment. That's course book one. And it's pretty thick, so I'm guessing it's probably covering the first half of the school year. Here's lesson, or course book two. Um, I'm believing it's really relatively the same, but we'll just kind of open up the pages so that you guys can see what I see. Okay, again, like, yeah, lesson 70. So, wow. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get into this fun little, this looks like Christmas to me when I see this. <laughs> All right, math activity box level one and two. So I'm guessing if you're going to be teaching first grade uh, to your child, then you'll be getting this box as well. Let's open it up. Ooh. Okay, so I see first these 3D little spheres and cubes. And like you guys saw in that first chapter, it was talking about measurements and geometry. Um, I'm sure these will come into handy. That's awesome. There's this. Um, probably going to be using these for like place cards or place values. These little dice. Oh, here's a little good in the beautiful clock. Um, like I said, I haven't opened this guy, so everything is still in wrapping. Okay, so yeah, when we're practicing telling time. I don't have to like draw a clock or buy a clock separately. That is amazing. I'm loving this like one stop shop thing. Like, awesome. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Base 10 bricks. Okay, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm guessing. Let's see, what does it say at the bottom? Punch them out and store them in the bag. Okay, so it's giving you already. I actually did that with one hand. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, so fraction pieces and um, let's see what else is going on. I'm just going to pull out a few of them. Egg manipulatives, um, tanagram pieces, seashells, and there's a little pocket here to place something. There's two of those, the marble manipulatives, seashell manipulatives. So I'm guessing when you're studying a particular thing, those are gonna go in here. I'm just gonna keep them onto the side so we can keep going. I see there's a little box for a double nine domino uh, cards. Wow, level one and two, 55 cards included. Then there's a measuring little tape. Oh my gosh, this brings me back to my design days. So cool. Now I see this, it's a place card value piece. Okay, it's a sheet, separate sheet. Then we have in here, game instructions, math level one and two. Um, okay, so there's a game included. Let's see, my place value chart. It's just open and I'm guessing those cards we were talking, I just showed you guys, we would stick these here and then they could just place them in. That's awesome. Okay, then here's the place go cards. This is what they were saying about punching them out. So they're already together, but now like perforated. Now we have to break them apart and have them prepared for lesson. Um, there's quite a few there. Uh, here's another one that's much thicker. Like I said, guys, I have not opened this and I kind of don't want to open it just yet um, because we're not started yet, but you see the sand 10 frame. There's like, I'll show you the thickness so you can see there's several sheets in there. Then there is this, let's see. Again, more punch outs. Here's the shapes and some uh, fraction pieces. And I'm sure those are all different uh, types. There's a few in there. And that is everything that came in the math activity box. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so first impressions. I am so grateful for this. Like all the other subjects, I tend to want to make it more fluid and create more layers to it, add more resources, um, create uh, unit studies around whatever we're, we're learning. And so for the math, for it to already be com uh, combined together so that we can just go through the curriculum, read everything, um, that box, I mean, come on, comes with the cubes and um, the cards that we need for placement. It comes with a board game. Like, this is so perfect for a second grader, first grader. Um, I believe the first grader, it's a level one and two. So your first and second graders who math needs to be fun and educational and inviting, has visuals, has tangible things to um, apply to it. You don't have to go to the store and try to buy all the little gadgets and toys and linking cubes and all the things you can just simply have the kit all together i think it is a great starting point for new homeschooling moms i cannot wait that once we get started on this in the fall to do a review uh, maybe a mid like semester review on how we're liking it so far um, if you would like to see more about that or you think that that's a great thing give me a thumbs up in the comments below Yes, I'm excited to know that the lessons are already made for me. I don't have to try to like schedule that out. Like, oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, for this, we're gonna do this. Like, it's gonna help with my planning for the, the day, planning for the week. Um, I know what we're following. It's all within the same book, so I don't have to have like a teacher's manual plus a student manual. I think that is awesome. And yeah, I'm so excited to do the good and the beautiful this fall. Okay, we made it through. Thank you, if you're still with me on this video, thank you so much for hanging out. Remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Share with me what has worked for you. If you've used the good and the beautiful, what are your pros and cons? Or what are you looking for in your math curriculum for this year? If you're new to homeschooling and have more questions, please go into the description. It will have my information there. You can email me directly. Um, you can find me on social media. And until next time, I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye.